Hello, this is R-S-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a video on the best keyboard for Android. Now, I had some people that recently got to Android, you know, and they like, I don't really care for this keyboard, you know, what else is there? So, I showed them my keyboard. My keyboard is from SwiftKey, so SwiftKey is a really uh, beautiful keyboard that you can actually design, you know, to different colors and everything like that. And then also, the cool thing about it is you can also design it to be, uh, every time you hold it, it actually push the figure on top of it. So you can see right here, actually, I, if I just want to push a number, you know, I just basically hold it down and then it's that one. And so it really just makes everything very quickly. But not only that, SwiftKey actually learns from what you have previously said on messages. So you can see the hey, hi, and everything like that. It'll actually learn what I type so that it could actually better predict. And when I say it's good, it's actually really good at predicting what you're going to say. It even knows to basically uh, that when I push a C, V, or B, that it usually spaces it out as soon as I hit space. So as soon as I hit space, it automatically fills in the word. So it's just really good for that kind of purpose. So um, it's really the best keyboard out, and this is how you set it up. You go to Play Store, and you just type in, type in the search, and then SwiftKey. And there it is. So now, important to note that you can actually download the free version and it's gonna be a trial for I think 14 or 15 days. So try it out, if you don't like it, you know, no harm, no foul. You just, um, you run out of the time and then you don't need to keep it. So um, it is a trial version, so it's really cool for that purpose that they let you try it out. And once it's installed, you know, that uh, once it's installed, you have it. There's also a tablet version, it's really good for the tablet as well. I just, I recommend this keyboard over any other keyboard. It's actually said that even on uh, Jelly Bean that they try to make it more like SwiftKey. So it's really kind of the best keyboard out. Now, once you install it and you open it up, you actually um, will have a setup. So the setup will basically um, have you input everything like the language, you know, if English is your language and it'll often have updates for that language too. So, you know, it, again, it keeps learning, which is really cool about it. So you, first you'll choose your language, uh, then you'll choose to personalize it. Now here's the thing, you can actually, it can actually learn from your Facebook, your Gmail, you basically sign in and you give it access to be able to a sense read them. They're not really reading them though, they're just, the database is just getting the words you type in and then spitting them out here. If you're, you know, a privacy, you know, phobia, then, you know, you don't have to do it. But basically you can learn from your Facebook, you can learn from your Gmail. It can also look from your RSS feeds and your SMS. So these are all the way, different ways you can learn, and it really does learn. Like I, I definitely tap the, whatever predictive word it often has for me, simply because it learns from this. So it's really nice. You also, of course, can have a different theme by the keyboard, so you can choose whatever keyboard you prefer. Lots of different cool styles. And you can also uh, add arrow keys, which is something that uh, Evos are known for, that this can also have. In terms of advanced, you can choose two styles of typing, which is precise and rapid. I type fast, so I like to do that and have autocorrect basically correct my words. Uh, if you're a careful typer who often chooses predictive, then you can do that. So it depends on either one. I use actually rapid for phone and precise for tablet, because tablet, you know, I type slower. so. Um, that's the difference. You can have it auto caps, you know, voice recognition, obviously, and how long your press is. It's just, it's very customizable. And you can even see your stats. So, to date, I've gotten this many keystrokes saved because of SwiftKey. So out of all my text messages, that I, it's basically done that. I've had a lot of typos, apparently. And uh, words that it predicted, I would say, has been very high as well. So it's just a really good keyboard. I've used it on everything I have, so I really recommend it. If you guys have any other questions about SwiftKey or any alternative keyboards, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y.
the Android guy.